How many are born again today? You've given your life to Jesus. You've heard the gospel message. But you may not know this is part of your salvation. It began with your spirit coming into a relationship with God, your conscience being cleansed, and a walk and a journey began. But as you begin to walk with Jesus, you realize that the Holy Spirit's been given to you as a deposit. The book of Acts, Acts chapter 2, on the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came, that's the deposit. That's the first fruits. Can you imagine what the full measure of our inheritance is going to feel like and experience like and be like? That's what's coming. So the first purpose of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 and 17, is for you to experience your salvation. Now let's go back to 1 Thessalonians 5 and look at verse 9. With that in mind. With that in mind, I want you to see it. This is a verse that really got me this week. The Holy Spirit, he stirred me up about it. He said, for God did not appoint us to wrath, but everybody else that doesn't know him, upon his return, he's appointed them to wrath. Somebody is appointed to wrath, and it just ain't you. So first of all, Put away all fear about the end times. These are exciting times. This is not a wrathful time for you. This is not a time for you to be afraid. So I know we've been dealing with some natural fear with all the stuff going on in our world, this uh, you know, sheltering in place and all that. That's, that's a different issue. We're dealing with that. But God wants you to know you're not destined to wrath. You're not appointed to wrath. But you are to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. And verse 10 says that you can share in the resurrection of his life. Same thing, glorified body time. That the number one reason you're going to meet Jesus in the air, that you're going to encounter him before he returns to earth itself, you're going to encounter him, and when you do come to this encounter, is so you can receive the full measure of your salvation that's been promised to you and I, you are going to have that. So the first thing is, this is all about salvation. It's about you receiving your glorified body.